Hey guys, what's up? Dumb Vlogs back with another video, and today we have the top uh, nine <clears throat> top nine things to have in your zombie bag. Uh, I could think of more than ten, but probably the most essential things you're going to have on you in your zombie bag. Um, so let's get right into it. And this is, by the way, in no particular order. It's kind of just uh, how you. <clears throat> it's just things you should have you should probably have a lot more stuff in it but you know Kaylin I swear to god leave I mean, the apple. no fine here take it I'm trying to do a video leave okay Kaylin leave okay so the uh, first thing you're going to want to have in your zombie bag is a MRE 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 uh, and the reason why I say this is because uh, you're going to need food. Um, and this isn't just uh, like MREs, it's also canned food. But I'm not going to bring up the canned food from downstairs. You might as well just bring up the MREs. Considering these last, like they never expire, but canned food, they take a while to expire, but they will eventually expire, I think. Like, they eventually they will. For MREs, they always stay good. And, you know. So, I will, uh. I will, I will set that off to the side there. Um, yeah. And, uh. Now. And now. Next. You are going to want to have a butt ton of water. Uh, why do I say this? Because you are going to get dehydrated fast in a zombie apocalypse where you are running from zombies okay it uh... It, it, it's gonna be quite a while it's gonna be quite a while uh... it's gonna be quite a uh... i forgot what i'm gonna say it's gonna be quite hard to move without water it's just a fact i mean it, you gotta have water to survive and you gotta have a lot of it. So a gallon per day, you're probably gonna want more. Uh, but this is just a, how much is this? Like a 16 ounce water bottle. Let me just see to get the exact number on here. 16.9 fluid ounce, and you're gonna want a gallon. And if I'm correct, I'm not going to do the math. But I believe it's like 64 uh, fluid ounces. Maybe something like that in a, in a gallon. But yeah, so bring a crap ton of water because you're going to need it. Um, but once you, Kaylin, leave. But once you have uh, a, like a base set up when you have people on guard and stuff, you, you shouldn't like have to bring a whole bunch with you, but you should definitely bring some with you in case you get an emergency and your car breaks down or whatever you're doing breaks down or something happens, you drink all your water too quickly you throw it out, you have to drop your bag some, oh wait, then you wouldn't have water, never mind just make sure you have wa like one MRE and maybe in some water you know because that's going to help you out a crap ton uh, yeah so and then the next thing on my list would probably go with that it is life straws is I'll have that back life straws and water purification tablets I prefer life straws because they're I, like you can use them infinite amount of times it's not like you're using it oh once you're done with it you know that kind of thing so that's why I choose life straw have not opened this one. Need to get out and test it for a video, do a review on it. Uh, but it's been raining so freaking much here in Florida that you know, haven't really gotten a chance to be able to use it. Um, yeah. And by the way, for people that might ask, uh, yes, we are moving. We are moving in a different way. We're gonna be flying to Illinois and then flying from, and then drive from Illinois to Montana and uh, we are going to Billings, Montana. Okay? Good. <laughs> um, so, and then the next thing 
I guess would have to be uh it would, it would have to be uh, a flashlight and I mean really you should kind of like be on your like uh, side or something find a place for them headlamp well this is kind of like a second one that you're going to want to put in your bag uh mainly because if, if yours runs out of batteries or anything like that this is always good to have on you and then next would have to be you're also going to want to have a glow stick um this is because whenever you're out and if your flashlight dies you can kind of still see or if you have to identify people you guys can all wear the same glow sticks you know stuff this is an eight pack and i have a whole bunch more but this is just to demonstrate and then uh what's next wait a second here they are okay <clears throat> and then next you're going to want carabiners uh, i say carabiners because if you have the uh like little strips which i can't find any uh you know what i'm talking like where they got like it's like a like i don't know what they're called like uh you put like a a, a long thing of uh, material like a strip of material and then every like inch or so you like sew down so it's like a little slot that's where you would put the carabiners or if you have a necklace or etc etc then you have carabiners uh i have two here because i mean i don't need that many but i would recommend having uh more than one and also trying to find ones that like don't glint don't have glints would be nice because if you're in the sun and you're trying to hide or whatever don't want these glinting 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 um oh uh, and if you can find one that doesn't glint whatever uh these are camouflage because they look cool uh also and i got two of these ones uh in one of them i'm not using i'm using right now so i got two of these it's kind of like a jungle camo jungle camo oops sorry my camera's moving this is like a jungle camo and this one's kind of like a desert plains one uh yeah so that's i have those and they work really well for me. Uh, I really like them. I would pretty much recommend it to almost everyone. Sorry. But uh, the next thing you're going to want to have is kind of goes with the like lights and stuff. The oh, sorry, hit move that. But uh, you're going to want batteries. I don't know what brand this is. Really, do I not care? Uh, like Duracell or you know any any battery would work. Um, I mean, just grab a whole bunch, double A, triple A, uh, nine volts, because, well, you're going to need them for your flashlight, you're also going to need them to, some people have those battery operated, uh, generators for their houses to keep power, um, but a lot of people have the gasoline ones, so, I would honestly just get batteries, because you can get them for like a bucket Dollar Tree for like 32 or go to CVS, or I bet Public sells them, and I know Home Depot does, uh, Amazon does. There we go. Um, what's next? And for our last thing, this is going to actually hang on. I might have to move the camera. Let's move it like that. Sorry, you can see it in the frame. There we go. I just switch angles. This is uh this is a a a, a a med kit for the United States Army that my mom got. Don't ask me how, but um uh, I got it. It's uh, it's like one of those cool things. It's got like a gunshot trauma kit and syringes and a whole bunch of crap I don't know about that I'm not in medical uh, and actually <coughs> the main pouch and then you got and then this one again oh, gloves and then down here 
it, 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 hang on. Because they're not regular scissors. They're like, hang on. Take forever to get out. They're like, I don't know what type of scissors these are, but they're like medical ones, I guess. And then you got like your main pouches and, you know, all the other stuff. So that is, um, you know, that's, uh, God dang it. I don't think they fit now. It's like, they always don't, like, it's always like, once I take them out, they get too small. There we go. But that is the top nine things you should have in your zombie bag. Uh, or bug out bag. This is actually too big, too, too big. Too big to fit, fit. It's just too big to fit in a, um, zombie bag. This is just the only many. My uh, first aid thing I have, to be honest. So that's why this is a military version. Oh uh, yeah, the batteries, light, uh, glow sticks, food, water, life straw. Oh, uh, you can also get. You should probably also get uh, purification tablets because I know they're a lot smaller than life straws, and they also have. Um, I mean, they're just, yeah, just like a lot smaller. Um. You know, and that, that, I mean that. And, um, I guess I'm going to make a different video on, when's my upload? Oh, uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. On, uh, Wednesday, I'm going to make a separate video on, actually I might just post it tomorrow because, I mean, or I might even post it today because it's fun to make videos but annoying to upload. So I might, uh, I might actually post one tomorrow, but I know I have to post one Wednesday. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to post a video on what should your zombie bag be, and how big should it be, and what should it have on the outside, and the, that kind of stuff. Um, oh yeah, and for those of you who are like, what about the melee weapon, the gun, the ammo, all that crap? Well, you're not thinking, is it the knife, melee weapon, uh, machete, freaking gun, ammo, magazine, that's going to be on a holster or pocket or something on your body where you can easily access it because you're not going to be rushing, like, running through or trying to, like, reach in your bag, bug out bag to try to find your knife, gun, whatever, whenever you're under attack by these zombies or humans. So, yeah, that that's why you don't put the melee weapon gun. Uh, from whatever machete into your bug out bag um, and that's why so um, yeah that's about it uh, there's, uh, I know there's a lot more stuff that should go into your bag but this is the basics like I know you should have tools and can't think of it off the top of my head but I know there's more um, so yeah I you know oh, you should also bring pieces of paper and all that stuff but those are like stuff that you don't usually think about this is stuff that you usually think about but you should definitely put in especially the first aid kit or a lot of people forget about that or the glow sticks but uh, yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and this is Zombie Vlog signing off peace